Hi everyone. Of course you're going to need a switch, otherwise your battery is just going to run permanently. It's quite simple really, although I find it a little bit difficult at first, but once you get used to it, it's not too hard. First thing to do is to cut a hole into your pump box. You can do it here, or you can do it on the sides or at the back if you want, it doesn't really matter. This sort of switch, it's just an old one I've got uh, for demonstration purposes. The one I recommend if you go through my link to Amazon, it's more as a toggle switch. It's much better, it's much easier to use. This one's uh, waterproof but you don't really need it unless you're going to be working in the sea or something. The first thing to do, I think most of them have got like a square section here, so if you drill four small, small holes first, you try and measure it first to get the right um, dimensions and then you just cut it out with a Stanley knife, that's the good thing about being a plastic box then once you've cut that out all it does is clip in this should do, it just snaps in like that and then you've got your on and off switch but now for the wiring that's not so hard just connect the correct polarity to the red first. Now I've just got another end like that with two connections on the switch as I hope you can see quite clearly you've got two connections. Right just put the other end to the bottom connection okay now you can see what's going to happen here quite clearly you've got your battery connection there and the top switch connection there. It doesn't really matter which way around this goes. Now hopefully you've sourced some wire like this. Uh, I haven't got a link to Amazon for that but you can get it uh, all sorts of places uh, especially uh, car uh, places like Halfords. Now the connections, now that has got a link. Now you should have got some of these so that you just slide it on the end of the wire Make sure it's going to be long enough to connect both the battery and the switch and put a connection, the correct one, on each end. These, you just crimp them together, get one out of the box, slide it on to the bare wire and you squeeze hard like that. You can always put a bit of tape around as well just to make sure it doesn't come off. Then all you do, top connection of your switch and the other connection of your battery like that. It's quite simple. And now, if you listen carefully, you've got an on and off switch. There you go. You can hear the battery working, can't you? So that's another job done. It's quite simple. Any problems, just give us a shout, okay? Job done.